Hey gang, Jim Farmer here. It's uh, Sunday morning. That's uh, about just before lunch on Sunday. Uh, it's overcast. Uh, the water temp's about 49, 6, something like that. Back here around the marina. I'm just idling through the marina, getting ready to go out to the creek. To see if I can find a few fish. So, we're gonna see what's going on out here. It looks like a little bit of a northwest wind. Not blowing very hard. I did notice it wasn't generating today. The corpse not, corp's not generating any water, so it's gonna be very little water moving. But on the on a good note, I think these fish are starting to move up shallow and start looking around, getting staged up for places to spawn. And uh, when they do that, why well, they tend to eat a lot, whether they're generating or not. So I'm gonna go out here and kind of spend a few hours out here throwing throwing around some staging areas mainly uh, secondary points in the creek pockets in the creek places I know where there's rock even though it's probably about five feet above full pool right now and a lot of the rock is covered up you wouldn't know it was there what I tell a lot of people to do and what I do too is uh, if you go to Google Maps go back a few years uh, Look, look at the lake whenever it was down, five, six, seven feet. You can get an idea. Uh, look at a particular creek. It doesn't have to be Ball Ridge, but uh, look at any creek uh, on Google Maps on a satellite view when the water was down. Start finding your rocky points that way, your rocky areas, you know, where these, uh, where these secondary points are going back into these spawning pockets. Uh, yeah, these fish, there's going to be a fish on every point here before too long, maybe even now. But uh, go to Google Maps, go back a few years, look uh, look at when the water was down, look for your rocky secondary points, rocky areas, uh, and then go hit them. Throw, throw, doesn't really matter too much. These fish are eating all kinds of stuff. That's the thing is they're not real selective about what they're eating right now. They'd eat a shad, they'd eat a crawfish. Uh, with the other day I was out with a guy and I saw this big bass kind of floating. At first I thought he was dead, but as I got closer I saw him moving around a little bit. And I saw he had a big uh, big brim stuck in his mouth. So we took, we pulled him out of the water, took a few minutes and dislodged the brim, big brim from his mouth. He was about ready to die because the brim, the dorsal fins on the brim had buried into the inside of his jaw. So the brim wasn't coming out backwards and it was too big for him to digest going forward. So they were just in a conundrum and he was basically drowning. The fish was drowning. So and we pulled the brim out of his mouth and uh, turned him loose. Hopefully he swam off. But uh, anyway, just uh, that just goes to show you these fish are eating anything. I mean, you know, this, this fish was eating a giant brim. I, you know, they'll eat, they'll eat anything right now. They're trying to eat for thousands with those eggs so I'm just hitting a lot of these points and, and areas where I think that they're gonna stage up and be feeding on going back into their spawning areas so that's what I'm gonna do today the three baits I'm gonna be using today is using a crankbait I'm gonna start out with a crankbait on a little point here just to see if they'll bite the crankbait and I'm gonna use shaky head uh, and uh, I'm gonna use a uh, chatterbait a little bit too. This chatterbait's a good search bait. If I want to run down a shoreline and just start slinging a bait around, maybe I want to go a little faster than the shaky head gives me opportunity to do. Why well, I'm going to throw a, uh, I'm going to just move down the bank pretty fast and just throw a chatterbait. And, you know, you can always find a fish or two that way. But uh, anyway, that's the uh, way I'm going to start it off and uh, hopefully get some video here couple of fish but uh, just coming up on the first point here so we're gonna give it a shot see what's what's out here
circle on that shaky head. Uh, I'm gonna show you. Let me show you exactly where I caught this fish. That's a pretty fish right there. Uh, I'll show you on the graph where this fish was. I'm coming back here into a pocket. You kind of see pocket goes back. I'm still in the creek. Good spawning pockets back here. These fish spawn all around here. You can see on the graph back here is where they spawn. Back here is where they spawn. See where I'm at? Right here. I caught that fish right there. That is a secondary point. And that's where I've been catching all these fish. It's on these secondary points. Now I have been running some docks and catching some on the docks because fish will spawn around docks too. But uh, right now the bigger ones have been coming off the secondary points. Just like that right, right there. Just a little secondary point. Probably 10 to 15 feet of water. There you go. Another pretty bass. I'm gonna show you guys where I caught this fish. Back here in a pocket in the creek. Span this out a little bit. Main main creek's right out here. Coming back into a spawning pocket here. This is a rocky point. Right there. I know the water's up, so you can't really see the rocks, but uh, when the water's down, well, you can kind of see some exposed rock. And another thing about this point is, uh, that's kind of the bonus, and I knew there'd be a big fish here, is because the wind's blowing right into the point. The wind's blowing out of the out of the west, blowing right into this point. And I I probably saw I don't know three, four, five bass boats go right by this rocky point that's sticking out here. And the wind's blowing right on it, but they're going back there in favor of uh, you know maybe spawning bass or bedding bass or something. But man, there's a lot of stagers right out here on this rocky point, and that's where I caught this one on the shaky head. So, uh, just another uh, outcropping here in the creek where there's uh, staging fish. All right, I'm, uh, I'm on my way back in, into the marina now, headed back home. Just finished up. Uh, I think it's about 2.30 right now, 2.28. Uh, I think I come out here about, I don't know, 10.30, something like that. So, it's about four hours of fishing. Uh, started out pretty good. First, first fish was a crankbait fish on DT-10 on a rocky point right outside the marina here on my first stop. It wasn't very windy on the point, but still about a two pounder ate the DT-10. So then uh, moved on to the next thing. Kept on with the DT-10, didn't get anything else. Uh, off two more points and probably 30 more minutes of throwing the crankbait. Uh, Decided to quit on that and pick up the shaky head. It's been my kind of my bread and butter for the last, I don't know, three weeks, something like that. So just started hitting uh, hitting some outcroppings. I think I showed you in the video earlier uh, about the areas that I was targeting. And I also uh, hit a stretch of dogs today and caught some fish on dogs too. Uh, uh, you know, sometimes they say there's uh, fish for every dog. Today there was a fish in between every dock, so uh, there was a lot of fish that were just kind of cruising around, kind of between the docks instead of hanging around the docks. So that was one uh, one place that I was able to find fish. But uh, I think the biggest ones are, uh, you know, they're all staging right now. They're getting ready to go back into these spawning areas. It's you know we got a full moon coming up here, and I don't know, ten days, something like that, I guess. But. Uh, these fish are uh, they're eating. They're eating on all them outcroppings that uh, they kind of pull up on and ambush bait on. And, you know, it's kind of random, but uh, they're there. So uh, got a couple of them on video, a couple of pictures this afternoon. So all in all, it was a good afternoon.